This week in the Zeitgeist. If you don't know Sketch, you probably don't watch sports because he's all over the sports world. Everyone's doing his signature what's up, brother pose and catchphrase. It's even been like Sports Center. What's up, brothers? Special teams, special plays, special players. Christine Alexander, Randy Scott. He announced the draft pick for the Houston Texans. Good punt team, get ready. That, dude, that's <laughs> crazy. You know, that reference I just made about a brick saying punter. That is crazy levels of fame. And last night, it was revealed that before being a Twitch streamer, like a sports streamer doing Madden, Sketch was doing gay only fans content. And when this came out, this was tough on Sketch. All right, because I think it, he basically got outed against his will. Elephant in the room, I got a haircut. Wasn't planning on doing this today, but I guess so. Okay, I'll start from the top. Look at this, open and honest. That was me. That was me. It's okay, though. I will tell you what. Okay. Two years ago, I did some stuff. I'm sorry if you've seen some of the stuff. You know, I'm a changed person. I did not have sexual relations with that man. I'm just kidding. I did. Possibly. And now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. <laughs> president Putin. We're going to beat President Putin. President Zelensky. I'm so focused on beating Putin, we got to worry about it. Anyway. What concerns do you have about Vice President Harris's ability to beat Donald Trump if she were at the top of the ticket? Look, I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President, but I think she was not qualified to be President. So let's start there. Nancy Cordes, CBS. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. President. You mentioned other instances in history where presidents have faced a challenge, but what makes this moment in history so unique is that it is not your enemies who are calling on you to reconsider your decision to stay in the race. It's your friends, supporters, people who think you've done a great job over the past four years. Have you spent time thinking about what it would mean for your legacy, which you've worked decades to build, if you stay in the race, despite the concerns that voters say they have, and you lose to someone who you yourself have argued is unfit to return to the Oval Office? That was this week in the Zeitgeist. Let's go, baby. Protect this house. Save the sheep. Coyote down. <laughs>